What is up guys, it's your boy Swolem here, back with another hardcore classic WoW video. So pretty much every single day right now we're getting one day closer to the launch of actual hardcore servers. That actually makes a lot of sense, every single day we're getting one day closer. But yeah, the official hardcore servers are coming very soon, and we've had some fake leaks around that subject as well, I've heard late July, I've, he I've heard August 24th, and based on the actual time span Blizzard has given us, the actual launch should be between the middle of July and the middle of August, so anywhere in that certain time span. It's a little bit weird to be launching in the middle of summer, but I guess it is what it is. PTR is coming up where we can test out different things as well. There's probably going to be a level cap on PTR increasing maybe every single week or every, every other week to just like test out different things in different level brackets, that's going to be interesting. But today I want to take a look at something that needs to be fixed for a hardcore series. Well, maybe not even needs to be fixed, but I'm going to say that I personally want them to do something about this, and I'll be asking you guys for your opinion in the comments down below. Now for the official hardcore series, we have talked about pretty much everything. We have talked about how Blizzard might be putting in like paid resurrections, which I'm actually not thinking is going to come out. It's more of a meme than anything else, we've been touching subjects on the WoW token for Classic Era, which once again I don't think will be coming out. We've also been talking about how Blizzard needs to fix all of the grieving methods in Hardcore, or specifically Classic Era, so Vanilla WoW, and they've been doing a very good job on that matter. And we have been touching base on botting in Hardcore, the server rules, trading and so on. But there's one thing I have never talked about in terms of hardcore, which I personally think is really, really important. So let's talk about it today, the Petrification Flask, or I guess the actual name is Flask of Petrification. This is a flask you can make in Classic WoW, which, for hardcore, it can literally save your life. So basically, what this flask does is that it turns you to stone, protecting you from all physical attacks and spells for one minute. But during that time, you also cannot move, you can't attack, or you can't cast spells. It basically does exactly what you think, it turns you into stone. Now, what people are doing here, they're using this flask inside raids and dungeons, and the second, like they usually make a macro for this, that way you can use the flask and leave the group at the exact same time. That way, when the flask stops working, you will be automatically teleported out of the dungeon, because when you leave a group, when you're inside an instance, whether that is a group, dungeon, or a raid, you will be teleported out after one minute. So having a flask that also lasts for one minute, basically gives you a guaranteed get out of a jail free card, basically a lifesaver for free. Well, it's not for free but it's an item that will guaranteed save your life inside any dungeon or any raid. Now here's the thing, this one could have a couple of positive aspects, like look at this, it's being made by crafting or spending 30 stone scale oil, 10 mountain silver sage, and a black lotus. This is a flask that was basically almost never used in Classic WoW, because people wanted to use those Black Lotus on actual damage flasks, and healing flasks, and health flasks, right, like Flask of the Titans, Flask of Supreme Power, and the Wisdom one as well. But now, this flask, which was completely irrelevant in Classic WoW, is extremely relevant for Hardcore, which means that if nothing is being done about the flask, the actual demand for Black Lotus on Hardcore is going to be insane. That being said, I personally want them to do something about this flask. They could. There's several things that they. What am I trying to say, dude? I can't even speak. There's several things they could do here. Number one, they could disable using the flask overall, where they could specifically disable it inside dungeons, or even even better, just reduce the amount of time for how long it works. Right now, it turns you into stone for 30 seconds. At uh, 30, really, 60 seconds. So one minute. What if you take that down to 30 or 20 seconds? That way, it's still a useful flask, it's still worth using the Black Lotus to craft the flask, it can save you from very many scenarios, but it's no longer a get out of jail free card. The thing is, if nothing is being done about this flask, then this is going to create a brand new meta for hardcore servers where people are either going to be buying gold or farming gold or farming materials to make this flask, and people are simply not going to do any difficult dungeons or raids unless they have one of these flasks ready in their bags. So it's going to create a meta where you will never do anything dangerous unless you have a flask, that way, whenever something dangerous happens, you have a way to survive just about everything. So it's going to create a very weird meta. 
And to enforce that, and the video that actually sparked this video, is this clip from Twitch where we can look at the hardcore elite, or is it mortal elite? No, this is the hardcore elite where they were doing a molten core run and using the flask. So basically what happened here was a little bit of a panic situation where they tried to skip some molten giants, ended up pulling a little bit too many than they could handle, and what they then decided to do was to do a collective flask of petrification. And at this point they pulled four giants, so it's going to be a very sketchy situation either way. And even though they are flasking, one or two people here are going to die I believe, but most of them survive simply by using the flask. So what happens here is that there's a Discord raid call. Actually they got a 5th and 6th giant as well it looks like. That is absolutely insane. And you can see the entire group just drops. Everyone uses a flask. You can see they stand still right now. The mobs are trying to hit them. They are immune to damage. They can't take damage. They are stone. And they will be automatically teleported out. By actually macroing this. So you use the flask and leave the group at the same time. You can time it so you will always just get out when this goes to zero. Alternatively, you can also have two flasks in your bags and you can automatically activate flask number two after flask number one runs out. So if you have two flasks in your bags, then it's always going to be a get out of any dangerous situation, free card for any dungeons or raids. Which personally, it's like, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? For me, it just creates a very weird endgame meta where everyone is going to have two flasks for any raids or dungeons they're doing. And unless they have a flask, they're just going to play everything incredibly safe, not do any dungeons, farm gold, get that flask. Could that be good for the economy? Yes. But personally, I feel, I feel like that's a... Uh, I don't know, it's basically a paladin bubble and hearthstone. It's a bubble hearthstone, but anyone can do this, and you just have to stand still for 60 seconds, right? And then you have to farm enough gold or farm the materials to buy or make a brand new flask. Or, in some cases, two new flasks as well. Personally, I just think it's going to create a pretty cringe meta, and I would love to see something being done about this. The thing is, if they are going to just uh, go the route of reducing the actual duration of this flask, then they have to add a DR as well, because what I just talked about for example is that if flask 1 runs out, you can automatically pop flask number 2, in which case if you reduce the duration to let's say 20 seconds, you can still do this, the exact same strategy, by popping 4 flasks. That's going to be very expensive, but it's going to, like, farming that gold and make 4 flasks is definitely worth it to save a level 60 character, instead of having to start all the way from level 1 and leveling up a brand new character. So, for me personally, please Blizzard do something about the flask of petrification for hardcore. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below, I think it's a pretty important thing to talk about, and just gather some feedback on this subject, like once again, that's what PTR is for. It is to gather feedback, see what needs to be done, and then doing what needs to be done. Either way, leave your feedback down below in the comment section, that's pretty much what I have for you today. Just a video talking about the flask actually. Yeah, that's pretty much it, leave a like, leave a sub, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.